Hi everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Today I would like to share with you how you can create some fun and easy DIY projects for back to school using a Cricut Joy Machine. I would like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So about a month ago I shared a video where I shared with you four different projects that you could create using your Cricut Joy. And in today's video I would like to share with you three new projects that you can create using the Cricut Joy and I just absolutely love crafting with this machine. Since we are in the middle of back to school season, I thought it would be fun to share some DIYs that you can complete for back to school. The first one I would like to share with you is this name sign, and I'm actually using some Dollar Tree Apple signs. I love these. I found them recently at my local Dollar Tree location, and I really love the size of them. So to start the project, all I did was take the piece and flip it over, and then I just painted the back of the sign, and you can pick whatever color you would like for the apple. I chose red for the one that's going to hang on my classroom door. I then let the piece dry for a day or so and then I got my Cricut Joy machine out and this machine is so easy to use. Crafting with the Cricut Joy has really changed the way I craft. I love the simplicity of this machine and how easy it is to craft with. I also love customizing my designs in the Cricut design space. It's so easy and fun to use. I love that I have the app for it on my phone so whenever I would like to create a new design I can just use the app and then send it to the Cricut Joy and it will be able to print it out. I just have so much fun crafting with the Cricut Joy. So once I finished writing my name in the Cricut Design space and I was able to line the letters up the way I wanted to, I was able to send the project to the Cricut Joy machine and it's Bluetooth enabled so all you have to do is send it and it automatically knows what to do. I chose to use this blue vinyl and I think it looks so nice with the red paint on the apple. I think it's so pretty together and I love watching the Cricut Joy work. It's amazing how precise it is. So then I went through and peeled out the letters and some of you gave me some great suggestions on my last video. I didn't know that you were able to connect the letters on the Cricut Design Space and so I was able to do that for most of the letters and that made taking out the letters and putting them on the piece so much easier. So thank you so much for your suggestions. I wasn't able to do it for all of the letters. Like for some reason the M wasn't able to connect to the R on this piece. So I still have to figure out some of it, but it made it so much easier to work with it as it being one solid piece instead of it being separate letters. And that's another thing that I love about the Cricut brand and the Cricut community is that everyone is so helpful in giving each other tips and tricks. I think there's a lot of intimidation around purchasing a smart cutting machine and I'm here to tell you that the Cricut community and the Cricut website and the Cricut design space are all there continually and constantly to help you figure out how to use these machines in the best way for you and I really love that about Cricut as a brand and also the Cricut crafting community. And another great thing about the Cricut machines and the Cricut design space is that it will tell you exactly what you need for each project. So when you print something out, it will tell you how to load it into the machine. It will tell you what material you need. It talks you through absolutely everything. And I love that about the Cricut products. I am so happy with how this first project turned out. I cannot wait to hang this on the door to my classroom. This project was so easy to do. The next project that I would like to share with you is another project for my classroom and it is a sign that I'm going to hang outside of my classroom door. And I actually found this chalkboard, I think I actually found it at a garage sale quite a few years ago and I love it because it has rulers along the outside. So using the Cricut Design Space and the Cricut Joy Machine, I cut out the words welcome to our classroom. As many of you know, I love to go thrifting, I love to go to garage sales, I love to shop at the dollar store, and what I love about the Cricut Joy is that I'm able to take those pieces that I find at garage sales, at the thrift store, at the dollar store, and I'm able to customize them and create a whole new piece. I feel that Cricut products have really taken my crafting to a whole new level. I know for me, I love to craft, but whenever it comes to a point when I have to use my own penmanship on something, I get a little nervous just because I want the letters to look perfect and I want the style to be absolutely perfect and I struggle to sort of make my hand lettering look precise. And what I love about the Cricut Joy and other Cricut products is that it's able to do all of that writing and hand lettering for me. I don't have to worry about making everything line up perfectly or look exactly perfect with my handwriting and I love that. 
I also love that with the Cricut Design Space, I'm able to create a customized piece. And I love looking through the Design Space and seeing the different fonts that they have, the different images that you can add. There are really endless options and I just have so much fun working with the Design Space. I am so happy with how this sign turned out. This is a piece that I thrifted years ago and I'm so happy that I was finally able to use it and I just love how this looks. I think it is going to look so great outside of my classroom. And the last project that I would like to share with you is one that I had so much fun creating and that is a shirt for school. And I'm so excited to be able to use the Cricut Design Space and the Cricut Joy and the Cricut Press 2 to create customized shirts. I actually created a shirt for what I do and I'm an English as a new language teacher so I created a shirt that is focused on teaching English as a new language. And so I love that I was able to design my own print on the Cricut Design Space and then use the Cricut Joy and the Cricut Press to be able to customize my own shirt. And I chose this blue color of the Smart Iron-On material to use on the shirt. Blue is one of my favorite colors, so I was so excited to be able to use this and to create this shirt actually using a shirt from Dollar Tree, so I was pretty excited about that. Something I love about the Cricut Design Space and the Cricut Machines is that they walk you through everything you need to know about the specific project you're working on. For example, when you're working with the Smart Iron-On material, which is what you would use for the Cricut Press, you need to create a mirror effect on the print and the Design Space will actually tell you exactly what you need to do. Throughout the printing and cutting process, it will remind you to check and make sure that everything is set up the way that it needs to be. And I really appreciate that, just so that I know that I'm going to be setting up the project correctly. So once I used the Cricut Joy to print out the words that I wanted for the shirt, I was then able to cut them out just into smaller pieces so that I was able to line them up on the shirt. And then I was able to look through and figure out exactly where I wanted to put the words. And I like that this material actually has a little bit of stickiness to it. Not a lot, but a little bit. So the letters and the words don't move around too much as you're trying to figure out exactly where you want them to be placed on your shirt. So then to adhere the letters and the words to the shirt, I was able to use the Cricut Press 2. And I love this machine. It's almost like a big iron. And what I love about Cricut through this process is that it tells you everything that you need to do. There's a part of the Cricut website where you're able to check the exact temperature that you need for your project. You're actually able to go there and to type in the different materials you're using. And it will tell you exactly what temperature you need for the project and how long you need to set on the machine. And those are two settings that you'll actually set on the machine. And once the project had cooled down, I was able to go through and take the top layer off of each of the words. And they were attached so nicely to the shirt. I was so happy with how that turned out. And it's actually kind of fun to go through and see the progress and the process of your hard work. And you're able to peel that top layer off. And all of those words are just perfectly adhered to the shirt. And I'm just so happy with how this turned out. I just love this shirt and I cannot wait to wear it to school. I just love how versatile the Cricut Joy machine is where I'm able to create signs for my classroom but then I'm able to use the same machine to create a shirt that I can wear to school as well. I just love the versatility of this product. I hope you enjoyed seeing three projects that you can create using a Cricut Joy for the back to school season. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these projects inspired you to do some back to school crafting. In the comments below, let me know which project was your favorite. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. 
Bye.